Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ala halal family Welcome to the channel you beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys we'll be reacting to a video titled Is Kim Kardashian in trouble? This video was suggested by Dito Rosso Terima kasih, thank you very much Shukran merci for your kind uh, suggestion The video is by One Islam Productions And the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out So without further ado guys, let's get started with this video I mean, let's be frank She looks like she's dressed as a bin bag what is that? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Sitting in front of the camera and just speaking to you guys has been so long overdue. And I must say, I do miss it. <laughs> yeah, but on the other hand, I hope you have been enjoying the Speaker's Corner videos. And what a video to make a comeback to. Kim Kardashian, I mean, let's be frank, she looks like that? she's what dressed she's wearing? as a bin bag. And this that bin looks bag like ensemble has been designed bag. by a brand called Balenciaga. She's done this ahead of this year's Met Ball Gala. Yeah, some fashion thing that she attends, yeah. And according to this article, check this out, yeah, the only hole that she has is for her ponytail. How on earth is that woman breathing in there? It's clear that the woman here is oppressed. No. It's clear that she has become a terrorist sympathizer. No. Well, Just I mean, a fashion statement. So weird. Yes, maybe. Most likely. Well, it is clear we need to ban this. Yeah, we need to take our MPs away from dealing with the homeless, dealing with poverty, and get them to ban this bit of clothing. No. Why not? You seem to be defending this woman. Do you not value women's rights? Have we not been fighting for it for centuries? Why are you holding our people back? Because it's fashion apparently. <laughs> Okay, they, they do it themselves well, you should have said for so. fashion for it's just fashion. today kim kardashian yeah i could see for the pony you should have said <laughs> hang on a minute how is it any different well because she's free she's a big woman she can make her own choices there's consent there it's, it's okay you know ignore what i was saying beforehand because she's free to make those choices she's old enough she can give consent? Okay, okay, okay. Let's apply that to Muslim women then. Muslim women you know, want to standard. wear the hijab in Europe. They can be banned. Muslim women yeah. want to wear the niqab in Afghanistan. In fact, they are marching to make this clear to the world. That's no, not true. Still oppressed. That's not Only true. Only three women in Latvia wear the niqab. They're doing people no harm. Speaking no, even if it's three women, the politicians will put aside poverty will put aside abortion, will put aside theft, crime, murder and these three women need to be put back into their free place. So they're free but they're not free. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. Plato, you can take your logic and stick it in your pipe mate. But if Kim Kardashian turns up in a, let's face it, a BDSM sexually perverted leather ensemble she seems to be the peak of liberation and freedom really. a woman marries herself so and weird. this doesn't raise eyebrows and goes yeah something's gone wrong here That's mate weird, like sure. let's let's analyze this nah mate she's dealing with what's going on up here so it's okay a four-year-old boy who decides yo i'm a girl now scotland's like it's cool it's okay after you finished eating that crayon oh, and urinating on the wall you can decide that, no problem mate, yeah, wow. it's up to you. You can't vote though because you need to be responsible to vote, yeah. You can't join the military because obviously you're too, you're too young yet, but you wow. can decide to Four switch years. genders and all that, that's freaking okay. Yeah. So guys, in Islam, women have a hijab, men also have a hijab. So women's covering is the whole body except the face, the hands and the feet. For men, exactly. it's from the belly so button no to the knees. And also, men and women are told to keep their gazes low, not to interact unnecessarily with the opposite gender. Why?
because modesty itself is a prerequisite to the preservation of the family unit and the family oh. unit is highly regarded in Islam and highly valued and because of that it preserves the sacrosanct roles of the mother and the father. That's right because in turn it benefits the kids and without a sturdy family, you know as well as I do, society descends into chaos as we can currently see. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, there is a double standard uh, around the world uh, for sure. When uh, non-Muslims uh, do it, they say it's liberating. You know, they have the uh, the option, they have the right to, to do that. But when Muslims do it, they say, oh, no, they're oppressed or they make rules and regulations that don't allow them to do that. Uh, I agree, you know, the women should be allowed to, for example, cover themselves in a format of hijab, like a scarf. But the uh, burqa and niqab is not uh, from Islam but rather it's uh, from culture. Um, and the other thing is, for example, even the, the freedom of uh, speech, right? And in France, we saw there was the magazine that was making satirical uh, uh, images, for example, and they were said it's okay for them to do that. But then when they started mocking uh, the uh, prime minister, president of uh, France, uh, Emmanuel Macron, he took them uh, to court. So there's a double uh, standard, right, that, that uh, we see uh, here. But, you know, I think that... Uh, playing field should be leveled uh, for everybody and everybody should be held uh, accountable around the same uh, line. So uh, pretty interesting uh, things uh, that are going on around the world nowadays. You know, it's uh, really scary to to see these things uh, as well. So uh, I hope you guys uh, found this uh, video interesting. If you did, then please don't forget to smash that like button as well as subscribe to the channel. If you'd like me to react to any other videos, you can include your suggestions in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and wassalam